Hello and welcome guys. Thank you for joining me again for another night of Facebook Live. I also want to take time out to recognize those that catch the replay from YouTube and or SoundCloud. It is indeed a blessing to be here with you tonight as I am your host and Tricia Bray Smith, author, educator, and public speaker. Tonight we want to talk about our messages, making sure that our messages are clear. So this is the topic of our discussion tonight. And as you guys are logging on with me tonight, please go ahead and like and share this video. Please go ahead and like and share this video so that others on your timeline may be able to join in the conversation as well. I'll try not to hold you longer than 15 minutes tonight as, um, hey Keisha, how are you? I see you getting ready to, uh, join me tonight. I appreciate you being here uh, with me uh, pretty regularly. So it means a lot to me. Uh, so as you guys are logging on, don't forget to like and share this video. And tonight we just want to talk about clear messages, clear messages. And I think that this topic is important to bring simply because we have a generation of people a generation of, uh, of young children and a generation of young men and women that are just looking for real people. They are looking for people that they can trust. And many times when they refer to us, um, they refer to us as being fake. And so much uh, fake stuff in the world that I want to kind of help you out and help you distinguish um, people that are genuinely uh, compassionate for you and those that are, as you so call, fake. And, and that seems to be the trend of words. Um, but, you know, I, I've met a lot of people through, through my lifespan. Uh, many people I've met through my lifespan and I can't recall ever really seeing somebody and referring to them as fake. So I know that this is a perception that, um, hey, Miss uh, Nelson, how are you tonight? I know that this is a perception that uh, our kids are taking on and I know that it has to do with uh, their life experiences and the way they see others. Now, I can't sit here and pretend that I know what they mean when they say someone is fake. But what I can say is that in order to distinguish how genuine a person is or how genuine a person is uh, perceived to be has to do with the message that they communicate. And so it's all about having that clear message. Now, with that being said, that message that they send may not line up or may not reflect what your perception of them should be or is. Now, what do I mean by that? So let me just back up and say it. People who are fake or putting on a facade or a false pretense of being something or someone that they're not, everything that they do reflects that very thing that they genuinely are. So that's like me telling you that I am a medical doctor and nowhere uh, around me, nowhere in my communication shows evidence of me being that. So, so, so I didn't send out a very clear message because I proclaimed to be one thing, but what I actually showed you and the things that I produce is something totally different. So then I could be considered fake. I could be pretending to be uh, someone that I'm not or uh, pretending to be uh, something that I am not. So I hope that I'm making this clear to you. 
okay? But me sitting here saying that I am compassionate and that I am concerned and the things that I do and my vision is lifted toward educating you in hopes that you're better. That message is clear. I've given that message in the same context as I would like for someone to perceive it. However, what that does not mean is that you come to me with some mess and think I ought to engage in your mess and you're looking for a handout or a pity party in your mess and I don't give you what you were expecting or what you thought you needed and then you call me fake. It doesn't work like that. Because what I am and what I do, I am clear on that. Everything that I do reflects that, but it may not reflect your opinion or your perception of how you think I should help you or how you think I should interact with you or how you think I should give my time over to you. So then to be called fake because you didn't get your way or the, it, things didn't come to you in the way that you thought they ought to come, then that's not the way things are. And this is where many of us fall out with one another, especially us women, we are hard on each other. We send out all these messages, clear or not, we send out all these mixed messages and when we reach out and someone doesn't uh, give us what we uh, want or doesn't give it to us the way that we think we want it or the way we think it should come, then we put labels on, on one another. Then we want to sow discord amongst one another. Then we want to uh, use our influence to um, draw others away from uh, others. And, and this is these, these kind of things shouldn't be because um, people's perceptions are different. And because people see things differently, we have to make sure that the message that we send and the things that we stand for are so clear that there is no misunderstanding of who we are and what we say we are about. Now I work with a group of women and I love the women that I work with and I appreciate everything that they do. Now, do we agree all the time? Probably not. But in those times when we don't agree or in the, those times when we're not having our way or getting our way the way we think things ought to be done, we shouldn't go around and send out a message that doesn't reflect the clear characteristic of one another just because we're all upset. So we still get in this place where we're throwing tension tantrums and, 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 and throwing discord and, and, and using our influence to, to ruin people's name or, or, or to impact people's character in negative ways. And, and this is where I see a lot of our babies really not understanding what it means to be fake because they feel as though they're entitled to something and they feel that that someone that they go to may should support or give them what it is that they seek but in reality when people come to me for assistance or when people come to me for consultation or or advice or whatever it is during the conversation the message that they're giving me sometimes is so crystal clear, I can almost tell you immediately within the first minute or two of the conversation whether or not it is worthy of my time. Because some people will seek things from you and what they really uh, want or what, what they really need um, they wouldn't accept it even if you give it to them. Because someone coming seeking um, 
material things, may need something um, on the emotional side, or may need, uh, may not be at that level yet that they're trying to see. And so they really don't know, but yet the perception in our minds guide how we think about one another, our perceptions. And so the messages are not clear. I do not waste my time on people who say they want help or say they want guidance, but nothing they do reflects that they want what you have. So, so that is that mentality where they think you owe them something or maybe they want you to do it for them. So the message that you bring verbally should line up physically. It should also line up uh, in your conversations. It should line up in your business. It should line up in everything you do. So someone wanting to take their business to the next level, everything you do all to reflect that. That message should be so clear that you're ready to go to that next level that when you reach out and you seek out help from somebody or, or, or guidance from somebody, you don't have to worry about getting your feelings hurt because what they're giving you isn't lined up with what your perception was of what you thought they should have gave you. So there are some people um, that, uh, Everybody around them, they they call them fake. She's fake. She's fake. She's fake. And and not all of us are fake, guys. There are some real people out here that would really, generally, uh, love to sit down with you and to help you and to uh, get you to the level that you desire to go. But what we're not going to do is waste our time, give our time away waste our time, give our time away on you and you're not ready yet. And that is as clear of a, a message as I can bring tonight. Let, we're not, we're not going to fall out with each other. We're not going to use our influence to downgrade each other. All we're going to do is when you're ready, send out the clearest message that we can send and help one another get to the places that we need to do and that, that we need to be. So the message is clear, guys. So for all of you guys that have called somebody fake, for all of you guys that have thrown your tantrums because you didn't get what you need, how you felt like you should have got it, it didn't come the way you wanted it or you desired it, Tonight, I want to make this message very clear to you. Let's stop calling people fake. Let's search ourselves and let's be sure that we're in the right place that we need to be and stop uh, using our verbal influence and our tension tantrums to destroy character of our sisters and our brothers, we need to stop it. So how do you know if somebody's fake? Because there are fake people. There are fake people. You know they're fake when the message is not clear. That means what they say does not line up with the things that they do. So, so it's just people all over the place, unstable. They're not fake when their message is clear and everything that they do and the fruit that you see they produce lines up with their message. It just may not line up with your perception of what you think they should do for you or how you think they should do for you. Okay? So it's time to grow up. It's time for us to grow up. I hope that message was clear. Please don't forget to like and share this video. I appreciate you guys that have joined on to uh, share with me tonight. Uh, I didn't want this to be a long message, 
but uh, hey, if we're around fake people and you know that they're fake, you know, and if it's them and not you, then you can do something about that. You can limit the time that you delegate to them. But I'm, I'm here to tell you as a uh, woman who loves other women, as a woman who uh, protects her business and protects her space, as a woman who has a genuine concern for uh, our population and for you people that are here with me every night, uh, my time is valuable. And you can't come to me seeking something half-stepping. And, and, and so it is what it is. So what you think you need may not be what you need, call it fake or not. You know, if you, if you, we really have to uh, hold ourselves uh, accountable and we really have to take a look at ourselves. So if everything around you is fake, if everybody around you is fake, then that's probably an all tell um, sign that uh, it's not us. It's not us, so. I appreciate you guys joining me tonight. I'll be right back here tomorrow night for another night of Facebook Live. I am your host and Tricia Bray Smith, author, educator, and public speaker. Good night, everybody.